Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, for those of you who have uh, expressed some degrees of concern at the lack of check shirts, it's back on. Check shirts back on, and of course it is because today we are in Canada, <clears throat> in Toronto, we are judging the Canadian national. Um, so this is going to be a kind of, uh, hopefully a really good episode actually. I will get some footage of uh, some of the judging, some of the exhibits, uh, the show, uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of a sightseeing trip of Canada too, so um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, listen everyone, you know what to do. Grab yourself a cuppa, sit back, and enjoy the show. Well, just waiting on the pickup. Um, so, hotel behind me, trees. Uh, beautiful morning here, absolutely beautiful morning. Fresh, but the sun is shining. Um, so yeah, very, very much looking forward to it. Well, we've made it everyone. We're in Canada. You can tell the Czech shirts are back. And what I will say is that anyone watching the show will immediately spot the continuity issues. That's because it's a two day show and I've got two Czech shirts on. Okay, so you will see me throughout this show judging in a different Czech shirt. I know people were worried about the number of Czech shirts that I had bought with me, but there is enough for the whole trip. Do not worry, everyone. Do not worry. Loads and loads coming up today. We've got some familiar faces, some new friends, um, plenty of plenty of plenty of birds. So, uh, yeah, I've already told you to grab a cuppa, but grab another one. In fact, grab a whole flask of cuppas, sit back and enjoy the show. Right, ladies and gents, we've found, well, I've made a new friend. I made, he doesn't know it yet, but I've made, I've made a new friend. This is Martin Halen. Is that right, Martin? Is yeah, that, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. look at that. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, now, Martin, for those of you in the aviculture world will already know this chap. Uh, this chap is from Belgium. Um, he is the WBO world champion. Now, that's not the World Boxing Association or authority or whatever, although... You know, it could well be, but it is the World Budgerigar organization. Yeah. Organization, yeah. World champion, ladies and gents. World champion on the Canary Room. There we go. That's just what we bring to you. So, Martin, you've been judging these beautiful beasts. I call them beasts. They're not beasts, are they? Beautiful birds. The birds, yeah. Birds behind, and then, um, and your best in show is a is a, is a sky, sky, uh, sky blue hen. Yeah. Sky blue hen. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic bird. Really. Uh, Stylish bird, but also power, um, directional feather, everything. That bird has, has really has everything, yeah. And um, one of the fascinating things, everyone, and I know we, we were at Trent Valley a couple of weeks ago, one of the fascinating things, Martin and I have spent a bit of time together, a couple of beers last night, um, but, you know, listening to, to, to sort of Martin talk about feather and, and composition of the birds and the sort of things he puts together when he's selecting his pairings and, and putting the birds down, and I think... For anyone who is interested in aviculture, do not have a blinkered view, because irregardless of what section of the hobby people are in, you can learn from them. I know I learned an awful lot from this chap last night, um, and and yeah, keep keep your open mind. So Martin, um, well we're in we're in Canada for a few days, aren't we? Correct. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> too many beers perhaps yeah, that, 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 there's a possibility there I think there is a possibility but tell me across across the globe I know you've 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 um, you've judged in in Australia and and well in fact pretty much everywhere haven't you across the globe yeah yeah, yeah. nearly every continent yeah, yeah. Correct. so he's, he's got he's got his little travel map and he keeps keeps chipping them up but it's the first time in Canada for you yeah yeah, yeah really and um, yeah really a nice show here and uh, yeah, friendly people. Yeah. Uh, we, we still need to see the country. Uh, well, we'll do that together the coming days. Yeah. So that's looking forward to that too. And uh, yeah, 
Well, really nice. No, it should be good stuff. And and for the for the, the sort of the budgery guard breeders, you know, in terms of standard here has been good. Yeah, you had a fair fair number of budgies to look at as well, didn't you? Yeah, about 170 we had uh, to judge, so that's good uh, for one judge. It's uh, plenty of work. But uh, I think, yeah, the quality was really high. Um, uh, they're doing well here in Canada for the budgies. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. And so what, what about the rest of the year for you? Because these budgie things, they breed all year round, don't they? Yeah. Not, not quite all year. Well, well yeah. As you know, uh, we are a partnership. And uh, the whole year round, at least someone is breeding. So uh, for you guys, canary breeders, it's impossible. But uh, we do that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Um, so I will start breeding myself soon. And uh, my, my friend Mario will start soon too, so yeah, looking forward to breeding season. All good stuff, all good stuff. But well, listen, absolute pleasure to meet you. Thanks yeah. very much, mate. I'm looking forward man. to seeing the rest of Canada together. <laughs> yeah. Cheers all. Cheers, bye-bye. So just behind me, you can see my uh, my judging stand. Uh, so I've been here to judge the uh, the fifes and the borders. Um, and, uh, you know, impressed uh, overall with the, with the standard of birds, you can see. I'm judging um, some of the five classes here and I've, I've sort of slightly different classification than, than the one we have in the UK. Not too far apart, but um, interestingly, the champion and the novice birds go up against each other in the classes. Um, so, uh, it, it, you know, interesting, interesting to see. Um, there was a bird, one bird in particular, that, that as soon as it came up, um, it, it really stood out and that was a clear white and, it, and that bird went on to take... Um, best fife in show um, really sort of nice bird nice shaped bird a um, lot of lot of style to it and then and then I was on to the borders and I think you can you can see me here um, sort of spending a fair amount of time on the borders now one man in particular um, sort of sort of, you know swept the board with, with all of the borders I think he had them um, all, all five of, of the uh, the top five prizes. So, uh, you know, he's had he's had a, a fantastic show. The beauty of shows like this is that it brings fanciers and it also brings judges from all over the world. So, we've had uh, a couple of Italian judges, an Argentinian judge, um, a guy over I think from the US, and uh, and Martin, who we've just spoken to um, from Belgium. And that's uh, you know for me it's great. And you know you're looking at, at, at sort of different birds and, and looking to see what they're like and um, of course this is a, a national so it's it's essentially um, an all variety bird I'm, i say it here to judge the uh, the borders and fives and um, whole series of type canaries we get a look here at the the sort of the final the final winners bench here judged by my uh, my friend um, gabriel from argentina and um, some incredible specimens on here and um, really like the gloucester in particular um, uh, Norwich is a nice bird there's um, Scots Fancy on there you know the frills there's a whole series of different types of birds and, and great to see great to see so many varieties of canary of course um, new colours as they tend to do uh, certainly over here uh, dominate the show um, a whole series of, of new colours on show here um, and really 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 uh, good quality good standard of birds as well so you know all in all what what a weekend so far i say so far there's still more of it to come and um, we are going now to uh, to speak to a, a friend uh, a friend of the channel um he has the uh, the unofficial title of um judges liaison we know him better as the lovely jay bunker so coming up next let's talk to jay right ladies and gents here he is the man of the moment come on do your thing. Here there he go. is. There he is. Oh. Focus, focus, focus. We're out of focus. There you go. Here I am. Out of focus is always a good thing. It is, exactly. of course, the wonderful, <laughs> the lovely, the much revered friend of us all, Jay Bunker. Jay. Righty ho, everybody out there in Lala Land. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is an absolute legend. God love him. Right. This man has, um, we talk about commitment to the hobby and talk about commitment to the fancy and the team here have put on you know a, a wonderful show wonderful experience jay god love him has traveled from edmonton which just just to give everyone an idea jay because we, we roughly about four thousand kilometers west of here 
Yeah. It's only total with the driving and the uh, airplane, it's 12 hours in total to get from my house to the show hall. Yeah, so Jay, Jay's just on a little 12, 12 hour stint to get here and then God love him. He's, he's been our personal chauffeur and entertainer. Um, so he's literally, I, I, I don't know how many airport runs he's done, but it was a lot. Um, it was a lot and he has grafted. He has grafted throughout the entire the entire show and continues to do so and I'm actually looking forward to this evening where he can stop grafting and Jay and I will be able to enjoy a large glass of something which won't be cordial to, <laughs> together um, Jay you are you are you are a legend actually mate you are uh, well you... In, some, in some people's minds that may be so and I'll just say you know it's great to see you here in the person you know, instead of on the little uh, on the little screen, I'm better on screen. Ah, ah, no, this is far far better. You know, so no, it's been uh, absolutely marvelous to uh, have you out here and meet you, meet the other judges, which are all from international, uh, different places around the world, and uh, it's a great time for camaraderie and everybody getting together. Yeah. And um, whether you disagree or agree with the judges, that's a totally different story. Yeah. We're here for the show. Yeah. And I think that that sentiment is something that, um, you know, echoes throughout the entire show hall. So you you have had a good show. You've, you've, you've supported this show with birds across a number of different sections. You've got third best five fancy in show. Um, don't know who the judge was there, but, it, but you know, third best five fancy. <laughs> we'll that, leave that aside. Yeah. And, and Donald Skinner-Reed, who I know will be watching this, you will be watching this, Donald, I'm pretty sure, will be delighted to know that you've won Best Scots Fancy. Yes, and it was quite a surprise. And, and Best, best Japanese, Japanese Hozo. Hozo as well. So, so third, third, third best five, Best Scotch, Best Japanese. I'm happy. Yeah. You know, I only brought in uh, 25 birds uh, to this show. And uh, to with the uh, you know near thousand birds that are in this show actually, to come out with any sort of a placement is a big bonus you know so I, I think I did quite well all things considered not that I couldn't have done better but you know <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is but now a, a, a wonderful 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 show you have done you've done really well but you know more than that more than the success on the bench I know. You know, this, this, this chap here has been grafting, doing the secretarial job on the type, which is no, no mean feat at all. So, you know, he is, he is one of, he's one of God's good ones, is this man. Um, well, just like any other show that we walk into, uh, in this particular occasion, I got to actually select uh, stewards right off the floor. Somebody standing there watching. I said, you, come, you're stewarding. <laughs> and then take them through the training process how to properly handle the cages, especially the wire, all wire cages, you know, and uh, we had a, a, an actually a great team of stewards uh, that helped the judges, even though we had the language barrier, I don't speak Spanish, the judge is Spanish, we made it through, we didn't beat each other up, you know, so it was, all, it was all good, you know. Lots of things to be celebrated. Well, listen, Jay, I'm sure we'll spend a bit more time together over the coming days, but uh, thanks it, a lot, mate. It's been great. It's been great. Good and uh, hi-ho to everybody back in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, everyone. It's my twin brother. We've got the same barbers. Yes. Yeah. We although, need, although, we, need, <laughs> we need some help. <laughs> yeah. we, need, we need some of that furtive bit to get a little bit more there's a little yeah. yeah we'd be no good as a Gloucester because there's nothing on the top there there's, there's a, the, the crest is the crest is too broad isn't it the crest is I, I too I didn't know you were going to open like that yeah. I wasn't ready for it no, no. you know me Kiara I'm making yes. up as I go along yes. so listen this is a chap who was um has been a long time friend of the channel. Uh, see a lot of him on Facebook, but I've never met Kia before until yesterday. Um, and uh, and you've got a number of tight birds in here, Kia. And you've, yeah, it's fair to say, mate, you've had a really, really good show, haven't you? I think so. I think I did good. I just won at least like seven trophies. Best Norwich, best second Norwich, third type, best Parisian frill, and best Gl Gloucester concert. I think, I think I did good. For the first year in the show, I, I I was a novice, yeah. so I wasn't expecting that much, but I think I did great. You've done, you've done really well, and that the Parisian fr frill is uh, is 
It's some bird, isn't it? It is. It is. It's really beautiful. It's very challenging, but it's worth it. Honestly, yeah. it's worth it. It's hard to raise them. It's out of like hundred, maybe comes like five really good ones, and but it's really worth it. Yeah. No, good, good, lovely. And you know, there's a, a very nice the Norwich. There's a really nice Norwich in there as well. Like you say, you know, across the board, you've 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 had a, you've had a good show. Oh yes, oh yes. I, that's, all I say is this: I had good friends. You know, like you. I got like Facebook friends, like Keith. Hello, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just Robert Jones, Paul Martin, all the all the chaps that you know, and we talked to each other. I learned a lot about the feathers, how to match. I took some risk and it's it's paid off. It's paid off. It yes. has. It has. It's it's done its dividends. Well, listen, it's um, it's great to meet you in the flesh, Thank mate. You so much. All Thank right, you so and well much. done. It was a pleasure. Well Thank done you again. So much, Thank Bless you. Bless you. This is uh, undoubtedly one of my my favourite bits of the show. One of the favourite sections, I should say, of the show, and that's the um, the finches. What they're classed here as finches, and um, there is a whole series of just incredible incredible birds one of the birds here you'll see it in this top cage here it has eyes that stare into your soul i hope that comes across on camera when you can see it because it's an absolute uh, it's an incredible bird um zebbies obviously there are here there are cutthroats there are gouldians um, there's a really nice hex as well so lots lots and lots and lots of lovely finches to see So behind me, a whole series of uh, melanin, new colour canaries, um, some uh, a nice little feo there, there's some cobalts. Um, well, a whole series. I'm not going to pretend I know what they all are because I don't. But Simon Meredith, if you're watching this, you'll know. Um, wonderful selection, really, really well supported part of the, um, the show. Uh, is the new colours. There are plenty and plenty and plenty on show. Um, judged to the point standard, so the chaps have, you know, spent an awful long time uh, going through, marking all of the cards, uh, as opposed to the fives, which I've just judged on a, on a visual standard, so I've not point scored them. Um, so some beautiful, beautiful birds here. But I can't bring them home because I'm in Canada. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I have one of our Italian judges, um, Diego, with me, who, um, who is, um, his English is far better than my Italian, but he is going to speak in Italian, which I will translate, about the, the show and, and the birds and a lot, of, a lot of hard work, Diego. Long time, good, good job, really good job. Yes, see. Sí. Uh, per me è la prima volta qui in Canada eh, sono stato in precedenza a New York, a Miami più volte a giudicare questa è la prima volta in Canada ho trovato degli uccelli di una ottima qualità che eh, però per il fatto di aver anticipato a settembre la mostra ancora non hanno ultimato la muta per cui non si presentano nella loro veste migliore Credo che il valore di questi uccelli sia superiore a quello che hanno mostrato. Sia io che il mio collega Daniele abbiamo tenuto conto del fatto che il piumaggio ancora non è composto e quindi non abbiamo penalizzato eccessivamente gli uccelli. Sono contento dell'ambiente che abbiamo trovato, molto accogliente come sempre. E spero di poter tornare la prossima volta in Canada e dare anche il mio contributo perché l'Europa è il luogo dove sostanzialmente sono nati i criteri di giudizio e evidentemente questi uccelli provengono quasi tutti dall'Europa per cui la, diciamo, la professionalità che noi abbiamo sviluppato, le competenze vanno anche trasmesse per cercare di migliorare anche qui in Canada la qualità dei soggetti che comunque è alta Magnifique Ok That was French <ride> Grazie Ok, grazie a te Thank you 
So I'm here with my other Italian friend, um, Danielle Del Zompo. Zompo. Ah. Daniel Del Zompo. Sì. And um, your Italian yeah. is far better than mine. <laughs> and, and, and your English is better than mine as well. <laughs> so t tell me about, about the birds. Sì, è stata una bella esposizione, una bella mostra. Cioè sono, ho visto degli uccelli molto belli, soprattutto nei bianchi e nei rossi, dove c'è stata una bella competizione. E quindi non pensavo di trovare questa, questa qualità di, di uccelli qui in, in Canada. Sono rimasto sorpreso. Quindi belle, belle mo, belli uccelli, sì. Soprattutto nei rossi, il bianco, veramente una bella, una bella qualità. Right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Grazie. Thank you, grazie. <laughs>
Right, everyone, we found him, the man of the moment. <laughs> Canada's answer to David Hasselhoff, I think. There, there we go, yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> it is, of course, the lovely Jeremy. Jeremy, thank you for the invitation. Thank You're you for welcome. the hospitality. I know you pro uh, probably won't invite me back, so... <laughs> <laughs> Th you will for sure. Thank you, thank you for the uh, for the opportunity and and a fantastic show. Well thank done. Thank you, thank you. Uh, really, truly well done. I know it's been a long time coming this show, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it's been three years. It's been a, 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 you know between COVID and avian influenza, but we're back and we're we're going to rebuild the show. Yeah. You know, one year at a time. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, the organisation, I will tell you, ladies and gents, that the, the, the effort that goes into this, the hard work that goes into it, you know, we're, we're speaking to Jeremy, there is a there is a team of people here, isn't right. there? A, a, yeah. a committee which is, you know, ferrying people round, putting stage, you know, working really, really hard. Right. And it's a thankless task at times, Jeremy. Absolutely, without a doubt. <laughs> but that's part of the game and we enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's good for the hobby. Yeah, at the end it of the is. Day, that's what we're trying to do is you know have everybody have a good time yeah and i think they have you know we've been we've been really really well looked after you have i'm not sure you'll have had a, a great deal of opportunity to see any of the birds not much but you have got a, a flourish of of winners yes under do well. uh, under some some five judge some, some strange some guy strange that knows how guy. to pick good birds yeah. <laughs> So at some stage, that I mean, it won't. It, you know, the highlight will be the whole show for you. But you right. must feel relatively glad. I was very happy good. To, to be in the in the uh, numbers. Good, so, for good, sure. good stuff. Well, listen, Jeremy. Uh, on behalf of myself and and I guess all of the rest of the judges, actually, you have mm. that you and and the team have have absolutely looked after us and made sure that our trip to Canada has been incredibly special. I know we've still got things to do over the next... We have lots more to do. Yeah. We have to get to the falls and to the tower. We'll get you around. Yeah, no. But thank you very much for coming. No. It's been fabulous Absolute to have you pleasure. here. Absolute pleasure. And the good fun is yet to come. Yeah, thanks <laughs> very much time. indeed. Take Cheers, care. Jeremy. Thanks thank a lot. You. Thanks, mate. So we're in the um, <clears throat> the, the post-show phase now, and uh, and there's a man you're about to see. I'm going to flip the camera in a second. Uh, listen to the background music because um, it tells the story of what showing over here is like. <laughs> Give us a smile, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Not generally concerned about getting my hair wet because there isn't a great deal of hair to get wet. But look, the spray is it's getting in my glasses. I'm at the top of Niagara Falls. Look, look, there it is. Who knew? There's Jeremy. Look at it. There he is, entertaining us. Martin's there as well. Look, they're all here. We're all here. We're all here. We've made it to Niagara Falls. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. You won't pick it up on video. You never do. But this place is absolutely amazing. And I am getting wet now. Honestly, I have to straighten my hair again. We're about to go sailing. Thanks, Jay. So we're on the boat. We are We are about. We look like giant condoms. Look at us. It's Martin. We look... We do, we look like giant contraceptives. Uh, we're about to go into the mist. There's the rest of the boys there, look at them. All looking very glamorous. We all look soft in these coats, but we'll be glad later because it's going to get a little bit wet. It's 
uh, it's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. It's uh, it's yeah. I've got absolutely tense. You can probably see. I really don't care. It is um, almost. It feels like we're right under the falls, but not. We're a, we're a bit of a way from them. But yeah. What what a what an absolute moment. So we've made it to Toronto city centre. We're in Dundas Square, I think, and there's lots of little, lots of little things around there. Um, the judging hasn't stopped, though. We continued judging yesterday. We judged some wine in a winery, uh, and then some beer in a brewery. You know, this is a tough gig. Tough gig. Final stretch. Final stretch. Dinner. Tuesday night. Dinner. up there I'm hoping there's a lift because if I have to walk the stairs I'm gonna be a very tired little boy see you later Final day, uh, just before we head to the airport, we're in one of the Bass Pro Shops and look at all of those check shirts. Literally, check shirt heaven. But listen, what a what a weekend! What a show! Um, I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed our trip to Canada as much as I've enjoyed it. It has been uh, an incredible an incredible experience. Some uh, new friends made uh, and catching up with some uh, some old friends too. Um, thank you to to Jeremy, to Karen, to Jay, to all of the rest of the judges, to all of the exhibitors, to everybody who came and said hi along the way. Um, uh, really, really humbling to see the number of people who watch the show out in Canada. Uh, so thanks, everyone. I um, hopefully I'll be back. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? But listen, if you've enjoyed the show, hit a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, there's plenty more madness to come. Uh, so please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, turn that on, and you'll get notification of every time we go live. Until next time, everyone. Signing off. Take care.